all right so guys welcome back to um devon's beekeeping and today we are doing a follow-up on hive a02 which um if you saw last week two weeks ago um we went in there and we had manipulated the chambers a little bit to um to influence the queen to start laying in the second chamber as well so today we're just doing a little follow-up episode to see um, what she has done so far. I don't expect it to be a lot, but I'd like to see if she's doing exactly what I want her to do. So um, let's take a look into the colony and see what's going on. All right, so we're going in. And um, just to see what the girls are doing seems like they're storing nectar so far because I have activity across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have activity across eight frames and there are nine frames up in the chamber. So I'm gonna start at the end. Okay. All right, so at the end, I can see that they are storing nectar so far. This is a nectar frame and it's filled up with nectar so I can see that they're really getting in stuff right right you ready so this one is heavy as well with nectar and it's really heavy as a matter of fact. If you look at it, all of this is nectar. So, definitely they're getting in stuff from the floor. And it's the same thing for this one as well. This is completely filled with nectar. Frame is really, 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 really heavy. But so I can see that they're getting stuff. But I want to know if the frames that I had, which I think were from here, no, it was from I think about the center part here. One, two, three. Four, I want to see if the queen has moved up and start laying here so let's see all right so this is sealed this is sealed and here she is too she has wing she's been she's our new queen interesting all right so what i realize is that they made a new queen which is good but her wing is not clipped she's not marked so i'm gonna do that Alright, so her wings have been clipped and I placed her back in, so I am moving on to this frame. Good. This one has a nice honey arch and it has tons of brood too that they are backfilling. Which is good. So, and 
this is the same thing as well. So, seal brood, eggs, and larvae. So, they are doing exactly what I want them to do, but it's time to make some changes again. Alright guys, so for this one as well, this is all seal brood. Seal brood. So um and the next one over is all honey. So here's what I'm gonna have to do now. I'm gonna have to give them a third super. So still keeping, I'm gonna still keep all the brood in the center. And then all the frames that have honey at the center here, I'm gonna move them over. So we're gonna move now, move on to a third chamber. And this is where the queen excluder is now going to come in place. So, um, so now, it, now is how I'm gonna manipulate the third blue chamber. All right. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. So for the third blue chamber, I'm taking frames from the side that have already been filled somewhat with nectar and I'm gonna be moving them up so So the frame that has the brood and the frame that has the brood I'm gonna keep them in the center with the exception of these two shall shallows that I have I want them to um I want them to backfill these shallows so I can start introducing my shallows because I don't have filled out frames that I can just easily just put a shallow on them so in order for me to get them to do that this is what I'm going to do keep in mind this frame here is seal brood And this is seal brood. So I'm moving this over to the corner here, closer to the honey frame. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to move this one over to a honey frame. So that way they can, um, they're going to backfill it and then I can move it up into the super. This frame that is here has a nice nectar arch but it also has brood in it which is good so I know that she utilizing up here and this is completely filled uh, at the edge here with honey so this is our capped honey we know that this is brood we know that this is brood we know that this is brood and this is also brood and I took out the honey frame from this section so here's what I'm going to do so this frame that is partially filled with brood mm -hmm. 
this is going to come back here and then this seal one here that has brood in it that I want them to um, to cap out I want I'm gonna put it here so in the center I know that these are all brood so I'm gonna keep them close again so we're doing the same configuration so we're keeping the brood in the center and now we're gonna start introducing back some foundation foundation strip here and I'm gonna put two foundation strip over here This is what it looks like so honey seal brood foundation brood 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 foundation foundation seal brood and then this is the first time that you're gonna see me now introduce as queen excluder so this is the queen excluder are we gonna give them the super that the the super that I take the few friends out? All right, so for the. Queen Excluder in the third, I am putting the two seal brood, seal honey in the center. And then I'm going to be introducing empty coves in these parts. So these are some combs that I had that I can give them for them to store more incoming nectar. This one needed repairment. And then I'll also give foundations up here. So, foundation being drawn down, foundation being drawn down, and I'll also do two strips of foundation as well. So from here, 
from here I will give them about another another month then I'll go back down into the second chamber I'll pull out the two um, the two super frames and I'll put the super frames and checker them So, Alright so guys, so we can see where A01 is pretty much doing what they're supposed to do or what I intended them to do. They've started utilizing the second brood chamber which is good. So the queen has ample space to lay at the moment. Then all the excess honey frames that they had um, in the second chamber moved that up to the third chamber and I put that directly over the center of the, um, the brood that was in the second chamber. Um, if you're not using the queen, um, if you're not using a queen um, excluder, then that is how you prevent the queen from going up more than she needs to do. Because when she goes up and she sees that that is just pure honey from that point, she's not gonna proceed further. So you can use that. But I um I use queen excluders in my operation. So that's where I'm gonna start introducing queen excluders as soon as I start putting them up into the third chamber. I do the queen excluder to ensure that they don't go up any further she doesn't go up any further so that's it for today's episode um remember any um information that you have anything that i'm doing that you feel that i'm doing wrong i'm always open for suggestions and thanks for watching like share and subscribe Bye bye